Do you find yourself needing to back up your PC? If you're worried about losing data from your PC or laptop due to unexpected events like a virus or a hard drive failure, then you should seriously consider backing up your important data. There are two primary methods to accomplish this. You can simply make a copy of everything you need to another storage device, typically an external hard drive with ample capacity, or you can back it up to the cloud. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll take a look at one of the most popular backup services from Backblaze. It's not a sponsored video. Instead, I'll be sharing my thoughts after utilizing this service for two years. By the end, you'll hopefully be able to determine if it's a right fit for your needs. Let's get started. First, I'd like to begin with a personal comparison between local backup and cloud backup. Personally, I utilize a 12 terabyte external hard drive to store files that aren't regularly accessed or taking too much space on my laptop. While this method is sufficient for many, it poses risks such as drive corruption, virus attacks, or simply losing access to your drive. Now let's weigh the pros and cons before exploring the application itself. Let's start with the price. A large external hard drive suitable for storage typically costs around $200 to $300, like this 18 terabyte one for $300 while Backblaze Cloud Backup is priced at $9 per month or $110 annually. So a one-time purchase of a $300 hard drive would otherwise get you around three years of online backup storage, but then the hard drive would still be yours and free, whereas the online storage you would need to continue paying. So definitely a pro for the hard drive. Second, accessibility. The hard drive can only be accessed when connected to your PC or laptop while online backup storage can be accessed from anywhere in the world using the phone app or your account on the Backblaze website. So no doubt about it, a pro for online backup. Third, security and safety. While the hard drive can be secured with extra passwords and so on, if for example the hard drive crashes, it becomes inaccessible, meaning everything you've got there will be gone. Plus, as I said, there are viruses that are blocking access to your files and there is no way to recover them. Meanwhile, online backup is much more secure and safer as it's stored online on different drives and encrypted. You can recover all your data within a few hours simply by downloading it from the cloud. So there is definitely a pro for cloud storage. Thus, there is only one but pretty significant advantage for local backup price. All this aside, now let's explore the program itself. As of March 2024, this is how the main Backblaze program looks like. It's an unscalable window with minimum stuff it shows the date and time of the last backup, shows the total amount of files backed up and their size, backup schedule, and if there are any files to be backed up, it shows the remaining files. You can manually select to backup now if the backup is not running but there are files to be backed up. It usually does it automatically but sometimes I notice it might sit a little bit before it thinks it needs to start backing up. Usually it finds the best time when the computer is less used but if you need to do it manually, you can. There are a few different restore options. You can download restore files directly to your computer or sign in to your account on the website and download one compressed zip file. You can also get a hard drive with restore files up to 7000 GB sent to you via courier. You can also use the phone app to download necessary files. The phone app is quite convenient if you need to access your files while not having your computer or without signing into your account on the website. There are a few settings you can adjust as well. It shows the name of the current computer being backed up. You can choose the warning period if the drive hasn't been backed up for more than a certain amount of days. As you can see, I've got five drives being backed up. Two of them are SSD from my laptop and three are external hard drives. It shows the date and time when the last file was backed up for each drive. As a note, not online cloud backup services allow for backing up external hard drives, so that's one major thing I personally was looking for when choosing an online backup service. If you have reinstalled your operating system and don't want to start uploading everything again from scratch, there is a great option called Inherit Backup. It saved me a lot of time and terabytes of data as well. In the performance settings bookmark, you can select manual throttle and number of backup threads for faster backups. Right now I have pretty much maxed out the backup speed. As you can see, it's calculated approximately at 18,058 gigabyte per day. And I tell you, the backup speed is really fast. If you select automatic, it will backup slower 
but won't much affect your computer's performance and internet speed. But in this case, since this laptop is pretty powerful and the internet speed is sufficient, I'd rather have faster backups. You can also enable or disable backup when on battery to save your battery life. For the backup schedule, you can pick between continuously once per day or manually. If you don't need to backup certain folders or types of files, you can add them to exclusions and they won't be backed up. Another great feature and the one that I was focusing on when choosing a backup service is file size limit. Not all backup services allow you to upload beyond a certain file size like let's say 4TB or something like that. Here you can choose manually if you want to set a file size limit or simply pick no limits like me. As for the security and privacy of your data, files scheduled for backup are encrypted using the AES encryption. Then the files are transferred over a secure SSL connection to the Backblaze data centers and stored there encrypted. If you want to add another layer of security, you can add a private encryption key. Thus only having this key, your files can be decrypted and used. That's a good option to use if you're worried about privacy. On the website, when you log into your account, you can view a little bit more information about your account, view and restore files, manage your plan, settings, billing, and so on. Here it shows you pretty much all the same information. It shows you the amount of files selected for backup, the total size, the remaining files, all the selected drives, when the latest upload was done. And as you see, I haven't done the backup for my external hard drive for 17 days. This is where you can see that it hasn't been done, so you can actually fix this. And this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna back it up and make sure they're all up to date. Then the view and restore also give you the same options, the free download. You can also order a $189 hard drive up to eight terabyte and get it sent to you via courier if you don't wanna download it. Here you can also choose specific files that you have on your drives and you can download them one by one. You don't have to download them bulk. For example, you can select a certain folder, set a certain file and just click continue with restore and you don't need to restore everything at once, which is really great. You can pick the files separately. Then it also shows my restores, my shared files. There is a feature called locate my computer. If you want to find your computer in preferences, it shows you your current plan when the new renewal will be, and uh, you can also switch between monthly to yearly or every two years, then just click change plan. Right now I have a yearly unlimited plan, but you can change it to two years or you can change it to monthly. But honestly, monthly is gonna be more expensive, so I would suggest you get the year or two year plan if you're thinking about getting it. You can also choose the frequency of backup summary. This is something that's getting sent to your email. It gives you the information how much was backed up so you can get some stats. It's not necessary. You can cancel it. You can turn it off if you don't want to get any, any of that information. Another interesting feature is get back Blaze credits. That means if you refer a friend and they will purchase this cloud storage, you will get three months credits, which is pretty good, right? So yeah, if you have lots of friends, you can just refer them. You can just add their emails and just send it to them. And if they purchase it, you'll get three months credit. So pretty good feature, I think. Then there is also some settings, billing, just some basic stuff. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Well, I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more helpful, informative and entertaining videos. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.